Just how important is God's Word to God? We're looking at a couple of verses here in the book of Psalms. We'll start in Psalms 138, verse 2. It says, I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. You see, God's word is so important that it is magnified above his name. Psalm chapter 12, beginning in verse 6. The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. You see, God has promised to preserve his word, and he has preserved his word. You can go to Walmart. You can go to a CVS. You can go to the Dollar Tree, and you can find... God's perfect, complete, preserved word in the King James Version, the authorized version. If you can have faith that God spoke creation into existence, that he spoke the earth into existence, and that he created all life on earth, and that he molded man out of clay and breathed life into him, and that he sent his son to die on the cross and he raised him from the dead, and that there will be a resurrection and we will spend eternity in paradise with God. If he can do all that, how easy of a task was it for God to preserve his word for us to have? I think it's a very easy task. And we have it right here. The KJV. God's perfect preserved word.